Dudes and dudettes of YouTube lads, Frank with What's the Point EDC, you see it, the first Sheffield on the channel. This is a freaking cool knife. Look, I've never seen this knife before, never heard of this knife before, so I had to do a little bit of researching on this knife. Okay, so it turns out that this is the Sheffield model 12181, also known as the Big Packa in the Timber series. So this knife is part of a series. There's different sizes, okay? So this is the nine and a half inch version right here. So what I found is this is 420 steel. That's a stainless steel, if you don't know. That that's a, It's an older steel. It's a more of a budget steel, but if done right, it's not too bad at all. It's actually a pretty decent steel if heat treated properly. Uh, so it's nine and a half inches long with a four and a half inch blade. So from here on, so where your from where your plunge grind is, forward is four and a half inches like i said it's a drop point as you can see it's got a v edge on it so just a standard plain edge um the handle material is pack of wood okay it has brass bolsters right here but what i want to talk about this pack of wood is it's made from birch wood this is everything i've just found out this is all brand new information to me I, i've never known this it's actually a very interesting knife. I freaking like this knife. It is hefty. It is large. It's got ergonomics. It's got a good forward finger tool. But anyways, we're still talking about this birch wood. So pack of wood has polymer resin injection and it's compressed. So it's made from birch wood. It's as look in here. Can you guys see any of the grain in there? Let's check it out on this side. You see it's contoured real nice. Brass bolsters. This is a solid knife. Seriously. I like this. This is awesome. It's got pretty much, it's like a, it's a 90 degree spine, but it's not sharp. You know, it's also has the satin finish as well. It's a satin finish on the blade. Not, not that you can tell my nasty fingerprints up on it, but you know, satin time. I got some greasy freaking hands, don't I? Don't worry about my greasy hands. Worry about yours. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's a full tang knife. This is nice. Look at the pens in there, looking good. Sanded down nice, you don't even know they're there. That's awesome. This is a good knife. I can't wait to use this knife. I'm a hard use it and everything, guys. So check this out. Do not buy this knife on uh, Finger Hut. On Finger Hut, this knife is selling for $79.99. You can go to Walmart and buy it for $28.82 or Amazon and buy it for $30. So do not buy this knife from Finger Hut, guys. Stay away from Finger Hut. Do I recommend this knife? You're for 30 bucks, you're damn right I recommend this knife. You, absolutely. I don't know if these knives are still being made. I don't have any idea. Here, look, we're gonna do a quick size comparison, okay? Here. Here's the cold steel SRK right here. I like that leather sheath too, by the way. Here's your cold steel SRK, and here's your uh, your Sheffield. I'll give you uh another look right here. This is gonna be the Dispatch, I forget the model number. Give me one second, I'll find it. That's the Dispatch DP0159GS. There's your size comparison of that right there. A couple knives real quick. Nothing serious, you know. A little something, something. It's a cool knife, guys. It's stout. It's heavy. When I say it's heavy, I think I think it's the brass that's making it really heavy. And it, I'm not in a bad way heavy, but in a good way. Like, you, you know what's up. This is nice. Look at the sheath. Look. 30 bucks, guys. Keep finding these budget bangers. Check this one right here out. So if you don't already know, I'm going to link this video in the description. This is also a $30 knife. 36 bucks. Leather sheath as well. 1066 high carbon steel, guys. I've been getting some good budget bangers here lately. You guys know we're going to keep this content rolling, guys. There's no slowing down. We're going to keep on rocking in the free world, guys. Just loving life. It's all about them sharp knives and good vibes. You guys know what time it is. Much love to everybody out there. If you're an addict, never quit quitting. Stay strong and live long. Get the help you truly deserve so you can live your best life. And if you're struggling with bad thoughts, please reach out and talk to somebody because it's going to be okay. You got this. Stay strong and live long. Sharp knives and good vibes only. Much love. It's Frank with What's the Point EDC. Take it easy, everybody.